In this series, I'll walk you through how to use Cogito to make your game. If you haven't heard of Cogito, it is a free Godot engine project template that enables you to make first person adventures, shooters, and immersive sim type games. Each video that I make will cover one topic, so you can watch them in any order. Though if you're new to Cogito, I recommend you start at the first one. In this video, I'm using some assets made by Loaf BRR, or as I'd like to pronounce it, Loaf Brr. They make great assets for Godot, and a lot of them are free, so check them out via the link in the description. They didn't pay me to say this, but I just like their assets, and I wanted to give them a shout out. Alright, so let's get started. One more thing we'll need for our wieldable to be complete is, of course, ammunition. For that, we'll just make a new item, and make that item a ammo item. If I look back at my plaster, I had this magazine here that I used for the animation and I'm just gonna use that one actually as the mesh for my ammunition pickup. So I just copy this, undo my changes here. Now I'm gonna create a new scene, 3D scene. I'm calling this pickup blaster ammo and I'll paste my note here. I'll place it that the origin lines up and then I'll change the root node to a rigid body. And by now you know how it works. So this is just going to be my Kugito object. And it's gonna be collision two, add a collision shape. I'll make this a quick box. Let's see how this works. And I'm not gonna be too precise with this cause it's just gonna be a quick ammo item. I'll make sure that the margin is very small. And finally, gonna add the I'm gonna add the pickup component and this is gonna have a new item so I'm adding an inventory slot and I create a new ammo item and before I do anything again I'll save this blaster ammo item and if you remember from the midi pack, I want to make sure here that this is set to local scene. And I'll save the scene, pick up last ammo, that's perfect. And there we go. Now I'm gonna go to the item resource that I just created. And I'll call this blaster ammo for uh, blaster. Just give that as a description and quickly have my icon. Stackable, yes, stack size five. Drop scene, we just made that. Pick up plaster ammo, yeah. Item size one, one. Audio pickup, I'm just gonna use this nice Foley sound from earlier. Actually, maybe I'll use a different one. I like this one. And now we go to the ammo settings. And here you have this parameter called reload amount. And what this does is this sets how much charge you add to the item when you use this ammo item. If you go to the ammo settings, you have this parameter called reload amount, and this sets how much charge you add to your wieldable when you use this ammo item. You can kind of call it like the clip size maybe. So if I set this to eight, that means that if the player uses one of these eight charges, eight bullets are gonna be added 
to the wheelable. So I'll save this. Now I want to go back to my blaster item. This one. And remember here, ammo item name, blaster ammo. You want to make sure that this one is 100% matching to what you called your ammo item. Otherwise, your blaster item and your ammo item will not like find each other, basically. Now, all that's left to do is adding this to the scene. So in order to test this, I'll simply throw some ammo right next to it. There's one, there's two, there's three. And I'll just make sure this works. Beautiful. Picked up some ammo. It's right here. Can move it around. And now if I pick up the blaster. There you go. And you see in the bottom right corner how my magazines are now displayed. So now if I shoot, I can reload. There we go. Beautiful.